Salawam. Only go with praise on and glory to Hell, Bash and Hell, Shabash, and Rokaka Dash. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Thomas Truth. And peace, blessing, and salutation to the whole village. And um, it's lucky for my voice. <laughs> I have a sore throat, man. But um, let's play this video here. So sad is that you deny the deity of Christ. Yes, 100%. This is our criteria for a God. Uh, it's very, very simple. And Jesus does not fit the criteria to be worshipped. He is not to be worshipped. He is a human being. These are the true words of the Almighty, most merciful Creator. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. He is Allah, one and indivisible, meaning you cannot divide Almighty God into parts. Allah, the sustainer needed by all, meaning He does not need anything or anyone. He is completely independent. He has never had had offspring, nor was he born, and there's none comparable to him. Jesus does not fit in this description, my dear brother, therefore we will not worship Jesus. Jesus was sent by God. I heard your testimony yes. and you were yes. a Christian at one time. Wow. <laughs> and you see, this is what happens when the everlasting God doesn't speak to you. Because then you'd be saying stuff like that. <laughs> and this is just more evidence that Muhammad wasn't a prophet. And if he was, he would have been talking about the Son of God. He would have been talking about the, the only begotten, the first out of the line of the sons of God, being Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and even then, Muhammad would have known Yahweh Shai's real name and would have and even have um, said Jesus <clears throat> or even Isa. Which is in Arabic. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, let's get the scriptures, man. Let's get the scriptures. And, um, Romans 9 and 1. It says, I say the truth in the anointed. I lie not, my concise. Also, bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost with the Rakakwadash, being the Holy Spirit. <laughs> That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, and the heart gone in, into the mind, and it says, "For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh." Hmm. And it says, "Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption?" And you, and you see, like it's it's it's, it's absolutely insane. As well with um these other nations talking about and it's and I can't forget um these Israelites who want to accept everyone <laughs> talking about the the Gentiles that can be brought back they're from different nations no they are not if you're talking about in modern society yeah you can say that but we're dealing with biblical nationality and the only ones that can be adopted back like it says who are israelites to whom pertain of the adoption and the glory so it's talking about these israelites that have been scattered among all these different nations man. <laughs> and it says and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of god and the promises and you hear that the service of God, meaning the Israelites are servants, man. You want to talk about the servants of prophets? They're, they're Israelites, man. They're the sons of God. <clears throat> and that's what these um, other nations don't understand. There's literally a, a whole lineage of the sons of God. <clears throat> and you know what, just to confirm what I'm saying... Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 12. And this is basically going back into the time of ancient Egypt where that death angel or Yahweh Shai was sending the plagues upon the ancient Egyptians. It says, So they also gave Hallelujah or dead with one kind of death. They were the living sufficient to bury them. For in one moment, the noblest offspring of them was destroyed. For whereas they will not believe anything by reason of the enchantments, yeah, those um magicians, the, the pharaoh's magicians, literally 
<laughs> saying that the the works that Moses did is basically fake. It says upon the destruction of the firstborn, they acknowledge this people to be the sons of God. So the ancient Egyptians acknowledged the Israelites to be the sons of God, and that was when the Lord was fine for them. <clears throat> and it's the it's the same thing with um with this captivity. When the Lord starts showing Himself and who His people are. The people are going to realise we're the sons of God, man. Like John said, man. Beloved. First John 3 and 2. It says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it do not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear. And that he that is talking about is Yahweh Shai. To the Lord Yahweh or the Most High is going to send down to execute these judgments and also bring salvation unto the elect of the elect or the children of Israel. It says, We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And if you know anything about the name of the Lord, you know that <clears throat> that means Yahweh, man. <laughs> And that just shows you, literally, Yahweh Shah has been given that power, man. He's, he's like his father. He's literally like his father. And literally, as the sons of God, we, we're going to be the same. <clears throat> and also, let me head on over to... um. Yeah, let me head on over to... Oh, yeah, i got something over here in the Psalms, in the Psalms. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Here we go. And this proves right here that if Muhammad was really a prophet, he would know about Yahweh Shai and his... um. And his, um, what's the word called? Yeah, his position. And what type of position his father have given him. And let's start off at three. It says, when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is, um, what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visited him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and has and has crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, <clears throat> Yahweh, our Lord Yahweh Shai, how excellent is thy name. In all the earth. And if you noticed. King David was saying things that are mentioned in other books. I want to say other books. I mean the other books of the prophets. For example. Um, where it says. That was made them a little lower than the angels. I swear that's in the book of Hebrews. Equal with God. As you know, here it is. It's in the book of Philippians. It's lucky on my bed. And um, it's in Philippians 2. And let me start at 5. It says, Let this mind be in you, which also, it's lucky on, which was also in the anointed Yahweh Shai, who being in the form of God, Fought it not robbery to be equal with God. So that just shows you how humble, meek and sincere Yahweh Shai is, man. Although he although he um he has that power and that fury and that glory and that dominion. When he came down on the earth, he came humbly, he came meekly, man. <clears throat> and it says, but made himself 
of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found, found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross and it says wherefore God also hath highly exalted him being the most high his father and given him a name which is above every name that that at that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of the things in heaven and the things in earth and the things under the earth. And literally that just shows you to bow down is to give supplication or to worship. <laughs> so that just shows you literally the Son of God or the only begotten Yahweh Shai. Yahweh have made him to be worshipped. And you Muslims will worship him. You're going to bow down. And if you don't, then we, we know what the scriptures say. We know what the scriptures say. Let me get it real quick. Yeah, Luke 19 and 27. It's about those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. Bring hither and slay them before me. So yeah, you're gonna be put to death. So <laughs> yeah, it, it, it don't really matter. And let me carry on. It says that at that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of the things in heaven and the things in earth and the things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. So that just shows you. There's two powers man. There's one that sits on the throne. Who is the most high. Yahweh. The heavenly father. And then you got the one that sits on his right hand. Who is also a, a God. Or has the title of God. Or power. <clears throat> And his name is Yahweh Shaiman. As as we just as we just read. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. So literally blessing the name of the Son also blesses the Father too. And that's why he clearly makes mention of um the Father and Son being one. <laughs> Although he's talking about in, in mindset. Their name is also one. And that's why we say Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, which basically just means the name of the Father. And then Bahasham, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Son. <laughs> and carrying on, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And says, for it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And you see, that, that's going into the servants of prophets. And also the men, women and children that are also a part of the measurement being the one third man. So that literally just shows us in order to be a prophet, the Lord himself has to make you do these things, man. It puts it in your spirit to do these things. Anyone can't just come around and say they're a prophet, no. The Lord himself, like it says, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So if there's... <laughs> Oh, man, you know what, let me just carry on. It says, do all things without murmurings and disputings, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God. You see, you see what I mean? The, the, the sons of God. But the sons of the power, and that's what Israel means, man. The, literally, the, the, the name Israel was given to the 12 tribes by Elijah, another prophet. <laughs> And literally that that um that name Israel it means 
he prints power. And if you actually think about it, it's kind of like a code name. Like the Lord's still calling us the sons of God, but he's hiding it in the word Israel because it literally means he prints power. And you got to think of it like this or decode it. Literally, a prince is someone who's, um, who is descendant of um, a king. And we know that the, the Most High is a king, a great one at that. So literally, a prince is a son of a king. So you can just put son there. And then, <clears throat> going into that word power, which in the ancient Pedro Hebrew, it means Allah. But it's spelled differently. It's, it's spelled differently to um to the Arabic. It's A H L A, which means God or power. So literally, it just means son of power, or son of God. And that's what the Israelites are, man. <clears throat> and it says um that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. And yeah, man, that knowledge, wisdom, understanding has been given to the Israelites, man. And that's why Yahweh I said, literally, um, make your light shine before before men. Go on into that wisdom, man, that the Lord has given us. <clears throat> and it says, holding forth, the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of the anointed, that I have not run in vain, neither laboured in vain, yea, and if I be offered up upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. Yeah, going into um the um, what's the word um yeah the martyrs, the martyrs of the anointed man, <clears throat> and they're going to be greatly rewarded. <laughs> And you know what? Let me also head on over to <laughs> Hebrews 1 and 1, and it says, God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in, times, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, having these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. And like King David may mention, the, the the world and the heavens are the work of thy hands. And he was talking about the sun, man. Like it makes mention here. Verse 3, it says, When I considered thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visited him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with a glory and honour thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands thou hast put all things under his feet and if you actually um have um what's the word the ears to hear and the eyes to see you know that Adam also had these same things and literally <laughs> Adam is the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Like, it's, it's come down on the earth multiple times, man. <coughs> the same way Adam was given dominion and all these things, so was Yahweh Shai, which they're both the same spirit. It's just that they had different bodies and different appearances, but it was the same spirit, man. And going back to Hebrews 1, it says, but yeah, let me start verse 2 again. It says, Having his last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who have been the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being Yahweh Shai sat next to the Most High. And it says, being made so much better than the angels, as he have by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. 
It says, For unto which of the angels said it here at any time? Thou, my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And that's talking about King Solomon, which King Solomon, again, is Yahweh Shimon. <laughs> the body or the appearance that he was in, it was it was different, but that spirit that was inside is Yahweh Shimon. <laughs> And it says, and again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. So that that just shows you, man. Yahweh is worthy to be worshipped. Here it is, these men won't worship him, but the angels of the Lord worship him. So, (laughs) ah, man. And it says, and of the angel he saith, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. A sceptre of righteousness is the sceptre of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, have anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. <laughs> And it says, And thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. So it was Yahweh Shai that made all these things. And if you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, I'm talking about it spiritually, you'll know that in Genesis, where it's talking about God, it's actually talking about the sons of God. Starting with the the first fruits, man, <laughs> being Yahweh Shai and the 144,000, as well as King David and the apostles, they had a hand in helping Yahweh Shai literally laid the foundations and made all these things, man. Hence why they have an inheritance with Yahweh Shai. Hence why it makes mention those who followed him in a regeneration. They shall sit on the on the on the on the thrones, on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. And the reason why is because they were they were there, man. They were also there with him. And look at that, it's one forty four. That's the time right now. And it says, "Thou shalt perish, but thou remainest." It's look here. It says, "They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as do with a garment." And as a vesture shalt thou fold them up, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. Oh. Basically meaning, Yahweh Shai is a mortal man. He can't die. He lives forever and ever. And it says, to, it says, but to which of the angels he... It's lucky, let me read that again. It says, but to which of the angels sit here at any time? Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And <laughs> we know, like it says here, man, verse 3, who being the brightness of his glory and, and the expression, the specs image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. And King David also knew this too. Hence why it says... <laughs> Yeah, I wanted all of them to pop up. And you see it's mentioned multiple times. Here in the Psalms, 110 and 1, it says, The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shai, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies and thy footstool. And here in Matthew 22 and 44, The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shai, Sit thou at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. And then Mark 12 and 36, it says, for David himself said by the Holy Ghost, The Lord Yahweh said to my Lord Yahweh Shai, Sit down on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. And y- you see, it's, it's, it's mentioned multiple times. And the prophets knew about Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> they knew who Yahweh Shai was. He isn't just some man. He's, 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 the, he's the son of the living God, man. The, the, the only begotten. 
And if you think about it, Yahweh Shah is the only spirit who was actually made by Yahweh. <laughs> so yeah, he, he's got bragging rights. As for us, we were made by Yahweh Shaiman. <laughs> and also um the, the the powers. I wanna say the powers I mean the house of David, but also the servants of prophets. And even the prophets were about before the, the world was even formed. Like it says, um Um, literally, I can read both to be honest. It says Luke 1 and 70 says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So where were the holy prophets before all these things were formed? There was with Yahweh Shai, man. Acts 3 and 21, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God have spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So yeah, man. The, the servants, the prophets, are the 144,000. There's a reason why it makes mention of um, all the 12 tribes. Or 12,000 out of all the 12 tribes of Israel. Because the, that's, that's where the line of the prophets come from. Because they're the sons of God. And that's how we know Muhammad's not a prophet, man. Because if he, if he was, he would come out of the line of the sons of God. He would be an Israelite, but he's not. He's of an, he's of an entirely different nation, man. And also, let me get this. Um. Oh, it's lucky, my bad. Actually, let me read this before I get it. Yeah, verse 5. It says, For unto which of the angels said, Here at any time, Thou, my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And like I said, that was said to King Solomon. And like I said, King Solomon being... <coughs> King Solomon being Yahweh Shaiman. Like I mentioned in um, Matthew 1 and 1, this is the book of the generations of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And you see... <laughs> That just lets us know, man. Isaac. That was Yahweh Shai as well. Hence why the covenant was passed down to Isaac and not Ishmael. <clears throat> and the son of David being King Solomon. And as it makes a mention in um, Matthew 22 and 42, it says, Saying, what, what think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. And how is how is the anointed Yahweh Shai the son of David? <laughs> Let me continue reading. It says, He saith unto them, How then doeth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? And you see, the people who they were talking to, who were asking the questions, they, they didn't get it. It wasn't revealed to them. It wasn't given to them to understand. But it was given to the elect of the elect to understand. And what they didn't understand is that King Solomon and Yahweh Shai is the same spirit, man. It's the same spirit. <laughs> Just like with Isaac and Adam, is 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 it's all Yahweh Shai, man, and even um, Mount Shezadek, which he had a he had a celestial body, man. He had a body like like the angels, that neither marry nor um eat or drink, or nor are they given in marriage. And he had that body for that purpose, man, to come down and show them the correct way, man. <coughs> and also let me head on over to um Second Samuel seven and and 
Yeah, let me start at 12. It says, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy vows, and then will establish his kingdom. Yeah, and that's talking about Yahweh. Or in this case, King Solomon, who is Yahweh. And it says, He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. And that house that Yahweh has built is the house of David, man. Or the ministry of the prophets. Which all the prophets come out of the 12 tribes, man. And it says, I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men. And yeah, going into when he went up on the cross, man. And he was laying down his life for us and himself so that we could come back, man. And he says, but my mercy shall not depart away from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. According to all these words, according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. So he was talking about his son, King Solomon. In fact, is Yahweh Sherman. And that's who, and that's what he was making mention of in Hebrews chapter 1. But he talked about, and unto the angels he says, you know what, let me get it, bud. <laughs> Hebrews 1 and 5, yeah, he says, For unto which of the angels said here any time, Thou my son this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to my father. And he shall be to me a son. And like it said, man, we just read it in Second Samuel. Chapter 12 and, and then down. It's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. And we know that Yahweh Shai made the world, man. And he's worthy to be praised. And he will be praised, man. <coughs> also, let me get... um. Second address six and fifty four, and it says, and after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, and like it also made mention, it talks about the son being an heir and putting everything under his feet, and literally that's how Shaman, the same one who's going to change our bodies. Like it makes mention here, man. The, the way it talks about putting everything under his feet. And also, like it made mention, putting thy enemies as thy footstool, being under his feet. He's going to have dominion over them, man. <coughs> Philippians 3 and 21. It says, Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the work and whereby he is able to even subdue all things unto himself. So, and that's how was shy, man. And like John may mention, now beloved, it's not it's them, beloved, now are we the sons of God. And you do not yet appear what we shall be, but when we see him, we shall be like him. Being, meaning we're going to be like Yahweh Shai. And that's the one who's going to change our bodies. That's the one who's going to save us, man. Hence why his name is Yahweh Shai. Literally, it means in English, he delivers or he deliverer. And that's exactly what Yahweh Shai is going to do, man. But yeah, carrying on. So that, and after these, Adam also whom thou made is Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So the other nations being the natural Gentiles, the heathen, they came out of Adam. But although they came of Adam, that doesn't mean they're chosen. And that's why he made mention of, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, being the sons of God, being the Israelites, man. And you got to remember, the sons of God died, even over them that sinned not, because of the transgression of Adam, man.
Yeah, of course I spelled it wrong. Yeah, Romans 5 and 14, it says, Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned, after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come, being Shai. So literally, even those who kept the, the law perfectly, they still died. <clears throat> so how how are they supposed to come back? Because we know reincarnation is a thing. That to come through the line of the sons of God, as well as the the, the other nations. And you got to remember the the flood, man. The, the first death. Literally, the only ones that were saved was Noah and his sons and their wives, man. And that was for the purpose of bringing all the nations back. <laughs> and it says, verse 25, it says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and as like in the bonnets of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So yeah, these other nations don't even matter. They don't matter. And it says, And now, O Lord, behold these heathen, these other nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So yeah, man, that's what's happening now. That's why these other nations are above us. Because we, we also sin, man. And this is our punishment. But our punishment is coming to an end. <laughs> then that's when your shy will make his appearance, man. And do his, the very thing that is named after, which is deliver and save. <laughs> and it says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy favorite lover are given into their hands. So there you go, man. There's, there's a, a literal lineage. And the Most High does have sons. He has sons and daughters, man. And you see, that's another thing. They don't understand the difference between these terrestrial bodies and these celestial bodies. What the Lord have done with his chosen people, with his sons and daughters. He, he have made them, man. He made them to be sons and daughters. Hence why when his first begotten, being Yahweh the first of the line of the sons of God comes back. He's going to change <clears throat> the elect of the elect to a body like him so that we can be his sons and his daughters, man. I want to say his sons and daughters, I mean the most high. But yeah, man. Actually, you know what? Let me get this, man. Let me get this. Let me get this. <coughs> yeah, here we go, Hosea 1 and 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. So yeah, we're going to be called the sons of God again, and your other nations are going to acknowledge it, just like with the ancient Egyptians, when the Lord was delivering them from ancient Egypt, the Egyptians acknowledged that these are the sons of God. And just as into, um, in today's times, when the Lord Yahweh Shai, or should I say, when the Lord Yahweh sendeth his son Yahweh Shai, people are going to know that we're the sons of God when he delivers us, man. So. <laughs> Yeah, man, I hope this was edifying. I want to give a praise on the glory to Yahweh, Shemel Shabbat, Shemel Kakadash. Salam.